Welcome to St. Michael's Children's Liturgy of the Word. Let me ask you a question. Is there anything bad in your life right now that you wish God could just make disappear? You know, something annoying or just something really difficult that you wish God could just come down and just pull away and poof, it would be gone. Like the coronavirus. Wouldn't it be great if God just came down and poof, made the whole coronavirus go away and everybody was better? Why does God allow bad things to happen? Why does God allow us to do bad things? Those are really good questions. And Jesus is going to talk about just that in today's gospel. But he's going to do it in another parable. Now remember, a parable is a special type of story that has a lesson. It's meant to teach us something. So let's listen to what Jesus is trying to say to us right now today wherever you are right now, whatever you're doing, I want you to stand up for the good news of Jesus Christ. Alle, alle, alleluia. Alle, alle, alleluia. Alle, alle, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. And may the word be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. Jesus told his disciples this story. The kingdom of heaven is like what happened when a farmer scattered good seed in a field. But while everyone was sleeping, an enemy came and scattered weed seeds in the field and then left. When the plants came up and began to ripen, the farmer's servants could see the weeds. The servants came and asked, Sir, didn't you scatter good seed in your field? Where did these weeds come from? An enemy did this, he replied. His servants then asked, Do you want us to go out and pull up the weeds? No, he answered. You might also pull up the wheat. Leave the weeds alone until harvest time. Then I'll tell my workers to gather the weeds and tie them up and burn them. But I'll have them store the wheat in my barn. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Okay, sit down and relax. Now let's talk about this. Go back to that question I first asked you. Why does God allow bad things to happen? If God is love and he loves us so much, which is absolutely true, then why does he let bad things happen to us? Why does he allow people to do bad things that can hurt other people? Those are really good questions. And you know, even adults really have trouble answering those questions. Why? Because we don't think like God does and we can't love like God does. In Jesus' parables, he's trying to help us understand this a little bit. So why can't God just take all those horrible things away? Why does God allow them to happen? Well, let's remember in the parable first, is it the farmer who in the story is like God? Is it the farmer who plants the bad weed seeds? No, the farmer plants good seeds. But does he let the weeds grow? Yeah, God doesn't make bad things happen to people. God loves us too much. He never makes bad things happen. But God does let bad things happen. Why? Well, remember what the farmer said? He said, if you pull the weeds away, you could pull the good plants in the story, the wheat, away too. So in this pot, we have this beautiful strawberry plant. But look what's happened. A weed has gotten in there. Now, if I was going to pull this weed out, I could hurt the good plant too right? They're both so close to each other. So what is Jesus trying to tell us? Maybe God lets bad things happen because we can grow from it. Think of the strawberry plant. It has to try even harder to go to the light and grow stronger through that weed. It has to try even harder. So it's going to be a stronger, more beautiful plant as it reaches out to the light. Well, as you and I follow the light of Christ, we're going to come up against some weeds in our lives, right? Well, let's think about that. How can those make us stronger? Hey, have you ever taken a test and there's some really hard questions on there? Wouldn't you love for the teacher just to take out all those tough questions? But if your teacher did that, 
maybe you wouldn't learn as much. Even if you get those questions wrong the first time, you're going to learn from those mistakes or learn from those tough questions. Or do you ever have to work out and do like 50 jumping jacks? You're like, oh, why does he make me do this? Why does my gym teacher make me do this? Because it's making you stronger. Maybe God allows bad things to happen because we can grow from them. I want you to think about someone in your life who feels like a real weed. You know, someone who's stuck in your garden that you wish God would just pull away. Maybe this person annoys you. Maybe they're mean to you. Maybe they're not loving to you. Well, maybe if they weren't in your life, you wouldn't have a chance to be as loving as you can be. By God putting that person in your life, he's giving you a chance to forgive that person and your heart can grow in love. By putting that person in your life, maybe you can be a good example for that person. Has your mom ever said, hey, so-and-so is, is not making good choices today. You need to be a good example for them. So by being a good example, by following the teachings of Jesus, loving God with our heart and loving one another, maybe we're being a good example to that weed in our life and gonna help them grow and make better choices. Even when bad things happen to us, they can be chances for us to learn from those mistakes and grow in God's love. It's not easy. And Jesus never said it was going to be easy, right? He said that we have to pick up our cross. Well, sometimes we're gonna have to be a plant growing against the weeds and we're going to have to turn to God and the light of Christ to grow through all those difficult things. Let's end like we usually do. Okay, let's end like we usually do. I want you to find a partner, okay? Point to your heart and say, God lives in me. Point to your partner's heart, even if they're a real weed, and say, God lives in you. Okay, wiggle your fingers and say, the Holy Spirit moves in me. Wiggle your fingers in front of your partner's face and say, the Holy Spirit moves in you. Take your partner's hand and say, we are God's people. Let's go spread the good news. See you next week.